American aviation has always been a field for bold experiments and radical ideas, but when it comes to hypersonic speed courage alone is not enough a true revolution is needed this is where the Hermes team comes to the rescue with their hypersonic quarter horse preparing to usher in a new era of flight where distances are compressed to a minimum and speed becomes the measure of success. Rockets with high-speed engines and U.S. spacecraft have long reached hypersonic performance and only hypersonic flight in the atmosphere on a passenger airliner still remains an unconquered horizon for aviation some of you here will rightly remember the Concorde, but firstly this legendary aircraft reached a top speed of 1,354 miles per hour which is impressive, but to put it mildly falls short of hypersonic speed with its threshold of Mach 5 for 3,836 miles per hour, and secondly the last Concorde flight occurred more than 20 years ago in November of 2003 when on the way to the Museum of Flight the G-Bogue aircraft set a flight speed record from New York to Seattle of 3 hours 55 minutes and 12 seconds moreover due to restrictions on supersonic flights in the United States Canadian authorities even had to allow most of the G-Bogue journey to fly at supersonic speed over sparsely populated Canadian Ian territory as you know a sacred place is never empty so right now startup company Hermes intends to not only compensate for the loss of Concorde but also surpass it in every sense offering passengers a flight from New York to London in just 90 minutes Concorde was able to cover this route in only 2 hours 52 minutes and 59 seconds which is also cool but no longer reaches the ambitions of the team of AJ Piplia CEO of Eros who managed to bring talented engineers from SpaceX and Blue Origin under his wing these individuals were united not only by a love of innovation but also by the desire to bring new Space to aviation which in the case of space meant providing cheap access to travel to orbit for millions of people around the world in aviation they first have to fly you across the Atlantic in 1.5 hours thus began work on the quarter horse and unmanned hypersonic prototype whose initial task was no less than to break the record of the legendary locked SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft to achieve such immodest results an impressive engine would be required many times more powerful than the Pratt & Whitney J-58 installed in that very Blackbird capable of instantly overtaking any enemy missile of that time at a speed of more than Mach 3, but here too the Harrier team decided not to take the easy way out developing its own engine Chimera which without a doubt was not only a reference to the fire-breathing monster of the same name from Greek mythology, but also an extremely AP name for a hybrid engine Chimera is a turbine-based combined cycle TBCC engine that is it takes the best from A gas turbine engine turbine jet turbojet and a ramjet scramjet engine and mixes them together the point is that turbojet ramjet and scramjet are three forms of jet propulsion but with a number of fundamental differences turbojets launch from a standstill at speeds greater than mach 2 but are not capable of maintaining a hypersonic speed of mach 5 or higher ramjet scramjets on the other hand handle great at mach 5 but are extremely unstable at low speeds therefore you need to combine them so that the strengths of each compensate for their shortcomings Hamas used readily available off-the-shelf gas turbine engines for testing saving billions of dollars in development costs and years off its already busy schedule they were able to build and successfully test their own engine for just $18 million over a period per rod of only 21 months in November of 2022 they demonstrated the transition from a turbojet to a ramjet engine which became one of the startup's main technological Achievements on the way to reusable hypersonic carriers the conventional turbine part of the TBCC Hermes was represented by the General Electric J85 turbojet engine, an extremely popular solution found in the Cessna A37 Dragonfly Northrop F5 Northrop T38 Talon trainers, and in many other aircraft according to open sources these engines have already flown more than 16.5 million hours, and the US Air Force intends to use them until 2040. But what if you need even greater results continuing experiments on Samara as the basis for the second version Camera 2 Hermes chose the Pratt Whitney F-100 turbo jet engine used in the American McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon fighters moreover these ones flew a total of not 16.5 million but more than 30 million hours as part of the Air Force services within dozens of different nation states consistent with their fundamentals Hamas has developed and Manufactured in-house the other engine components including the inlet precooler ram burner and bypass system all of them will be scaled for subsequent integration into the improved Chima 2 which will be installed in dark cores but wait what's dark cause this is a question many of you might have at this point in the video the fact is that Hermes intends to create not one but three aircraft at once in addition to the quarter horse will also see a multi-mission hypersonic UAV for defense and National security missions and the Hoosie on a passenger aircraft capable of covering over 125 transoceanic routes at speeds five times faster than any current commercial aircraft, but for now we'll stay focused on the quarter horse the Hermes team began 2024 with a completion of T-test of its quarter horse MK0 ground stand and used to test various systems and their integration into the vehicle. 
Along with this news a short roadmap was published consisting of four versions MK-01 Malawian Kwachar, two Malawian Kwachars, and three Malawian Kwachars. Testing of the MK-0 was successfully completed at the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Complex EDC into Tennessee and benchmarks reached included demonstrating remote command and control taxing evaluating radio frequency RF latency and ground handling qualities of the integral systems demonstrating proper state of the vehicle in flight deck during lost link demonstrating human factor evaluations and pilot in the loop steering and controls the company said it designed and built the MK-0 in just six months achieving its test targets in 37 days which is nothing short of impressive especially considering the fact that by March of this year Hermes had already presented the next stage the quarter horse 1 Malawian Kwachar which will take to the air at the end of 2024 from the legendary Edwards Air Force Base the engineers prepared this plane in seven months setting for themselves a new crazy standard for the pace of iterations one plane per year the main purpose of this remotely piloted vehicle is to demonstrate high-speed takeoff and landing a key enabling capability unique to future hypersonic aircraft of the company's roadmap however, if the MK-0 and 1 Malawian Kwacha feature Samara engines based on the General Electric J-85 then in the quarter-horse 2 Malawian Kwachas will finally see the Samara 2 with its core in the form of the Pratt & Whitney F-100 plans for which Hermes representatives were more than happy to share with the public in May of 2024 Hermes began testing its proprietary cooling technology with the F-100 engine marking the first major milestone in the development of the two Malawian Kwachas engine thanks to the combined engine with this precooler the third iteration of the quarter horse will be able to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.5 the goal of the roadmap at this stage is to break the sound barrier and demonstrate autonomous supersonic flight below Mach 3 while the decisive step will be the three Malawian Kwachas version in which Hamas will be able to demonstrate turbojet to ramjet mode transition in flight and break the all-time airspeed record held by the SR-71 Blackberg in general the path to the future of hypersonic travel today lies through overcoming the quarter-horse 3 Malawian Kwachas threshold at Mach 4 so far Hermes is yet to set a date but is watching the pace of production closely along with the team's follow-through so the word soon isn't as vague as it could be moreover it's not for nothing that NASA the US Air Force and even the father of chat. GPT Sam Alman believed in the startup providing it with substantial Funding worth hundreds of millions of dollars do you think Hermias will be able to live up to the expectations and break the SRC-71 record in 2025?